let's continue the discussion on explanation of embedded C program for LCD interfacing with PK f four five five zero microcontroller. The embedded C program start its execution with the main function. Inside main we have declared an array that is var one. In that array we'll be storing our message welcome. Adicon one trisd and trise these are the registers in pick of controller so along with embedded c programming it is register programming so in order to program these registers it is very important that you must know working of these registers if you recall the interfacing diagram of pick 18f microcontroller with the lcd the d port is connected to the data buses of lcd pins and the E port is connected to the control signals of LCD pins. So both D port as well as E port, we are configuring them as output port. LCD is output device. The D port and E port, they will always carry the bits out of the microcontroller towards the LCD. Here we have called the function initialization of LCD. After that, uh, delay of 50 millisecond, the LCD write string to that function, we have passed an address of a array that is var1. A delay of 15 millisecond is called, and the main function will end with the while one loop. This condition will be true forever. So, that is why control or the program will loop here forever or it will stay here forever. There's another significance of writing a while one in the program that whenever you want to download the program in the hardware you have to write a while one there are different function definitions like ms delay initialization of lcd then lcd command and lcd data and finally lcd write string so if you look at the input parameters of these functions for example, MS delay, the input argument is unsigned integer time. So whenever this function is called MS delay in the main, so you can see the, fun, uh, the value passed to this function is integer like 50, 15. And in order to receive that value in the function definition, we are using a variable time, which is of unsigned integer data type so this is a definition of ms delay it is calibrated for one millisecond delay in mplab software two for loops we have used here in lcd initialization function definition you can see there are different commands used in my earlier video in one of the slide i have shown you the different lcd commands so there are two registers in lcd command register and data register so whenever you are sending a command the command register will be used and whenever we are sending a data the data register will be used so these are the commands after every command we are calling a delay of 15 milliseconds in the definition of lcd command in the cmd it is a variable again of unsigned character data type in cmd we will we are passing this 38, 0, 1, 0, C, and 80. These four values we are passing to this, uh, this variable CMD. We we'll send these values to the port D. And we know in the interfacing diagram, port D is connected to the data lines of LCD. How does the LCD come to know whether it's a command or whether it's a data? So for that, we have to make register select as a zero. In this program, we are not reading from the LCD, but we are writing to the LCD. So in both the function definitions, LCD command and LCD data will make read write pin zero. To latch or to lock the information inside the LCD, on the enable pin, we have to generate a high to low pulse. So here we have first made enable equals to one. After that, we have called a 15 millisecond delay. And then we made enable equals to zero. This is the way you can generate a pulse 
in a embedded C programming. And this is an important step because enable the function of enable is to latch the information into the LCD. In LCD data function definition, you can see data is a variable of unsigned care. And to this data, we are sending this uh, welcome the string of characters. So that is our data. So one by one, the character will be uh, will be received by this data variable and it will be sent to the port D. Now we know this is a data, so we'll make RS equals to one. So RS equals to one since data is sent to the LCD. So we'll make read write pin equals to zero and then we'll generate the enable pulse. And finally, function to write string to LCD. Now to this LCD write string, we are passing the address of a array. So that is why we have a str as a pointer here, which will hold the address of the array. And one by one, the character will be received into this uh, LCD write string. And it will be one by one, the character uh, is sent to the LCD data function. And then there onwards, it will be sent to the LCD. So this was all about the interfacing of LCD with PKTNF microcontroller and its embedded C program. Thank you everyone.